So what is the largest passenger aircraft ever made? The A380 and Casey Neistat have in common. YouTube superstar Casey Neistat. Well, this video, of course, unfortunately, they are removing Emirates Airlines first ever A380 forever and they're sending it to scrap. But never fear, you can own a piece of their history, such as this bar. And if you're rich, you could probably even rent out a bartender lady, just like this one, for your very own house. Casey Neistat did a review on this very airplane, I think. I don't quite know if it was the A380 that he was on in this video, but uh, this is the very same bar, if not, very similar. I can't be sure, but I'm just throwing that in there as a bit of a clause to the contract. I don't quite know, but it's very, very similar to the bar in the A380. But this was definitely Emirates that he was on, so it goes to think that this would be the same kind of bar. But yeah, you can pretty much buy it. Now, why am I showing you a picture of the B-52 bomber? This thing has been around for 60 years, and it's still going strong. But this one right here, no, not Casey Neistat, <laughs> But this one's only been around for 12, 13 years. It's terrible what they're doing. They're, they're scrapping, uh, you know, beautifully made aircraft, which are still relatively new and have, to, to be fair, many more years of life left. But it's, you know, the, the coronavirus, right? Everyone coughing simultaneously <laughs> all around the world. That has caused the, 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 the potential death of this uh, of this airplane, the A380, right? I want to read about this today. So the B-52, quickly reading from this right now, the B-52 completed 60 years of continuous service with its original operator in 2015. Now, after being upgraded between 2013 and 2015, the last airplanes are expected to be, to be expected to serve into the 2050s. This is ridiculous. How old do you think it'll be then? It will be most likely 100 years that this airplane, this one right here, has been running for. The B-52. Bomber. So once again, it's a crying shame that they're getting rid of this aircraft. You know, many companies are starting to get rid of this because not enough people, not enough people are basically buying a ticket to go from A to B. And these aircraft can basically hold, well, two, two decks of people. It costs a bit, a bit of a fortune to, to put the fuel in this aircraft and uh, not many people are using it. So it's a damn shame. So reading from this one today from Business Insider Australia. So Emirates is turning its first ever A380 jumbo jet into furniture to sell to its fans. If you've got enough money, you can buy the, the stewardess. The stewardess? Stewardess. And the bar. And the stewardess. All right. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Emirates is converting its first ever delivered A380 into furniture and memor memorabilia to sell to fans. Now, a part of the proceeds will go to the company's charity foundation that helps children in need. Uh, repurposing the plane's materials will reduce Emirates' carbon footprint by lessening landfill waste, which is a good thing. But we're going to show you the airplane graveyard in a second. Uh, the pandemic took a toll on the industry in many ways, like forcing airlines to suspend routes and lay off employees. Now, one notable casualty was the mass retirement of the beloved Airbus A380 jumbo jet. 12, 13 years this has been going. Not 60, not 100, but th 12, 13. It's pretty terrible. But anyway, the mammoth plane has sent has been sent to the boneyard by a handful of carriers in the past year like Air France as well. <laughs> the French aren't happy. That was a mixture of German and French, but anyway. Uh, Singapore Airlines, <laughs> the Singapore people, uh, I'm just gonna stop right now. But anyway, they're not happy with it either and they're getting rid of it. A uh, bit of a financial drain apparently. So now Dubai based Emirates, which is the world's largest operator of the A380, is beginning the process of dismantling its super jets. All right, with the company's first ever delivered a380 already been stripped the plane flew 6319 flights in its 12 year life 12 years like i said shit that's nothing 
And now, look, you know, uh, what are we looking at? 6,319 may sound like a lot, but it's really not. For 12 years of flights, that's really nothing. It's just a drop in the pond, right? Shitty situation, but there you go. That's Emirates right there. I've flown in Emirates before. I've been to Dubai. Uh, great city. Great city. When a plane is retired, it is typically flown to a remote location to be uh, deconstructed with only its most valuable you know, uh, pieces recovered, like engines, landing gears, and flight control components, the things that you could potentially use on another airplane, all right? There is some of the things right there. Some of the engines that have been wrapped up for recycling will, you know, for probably use on another airplane kind of thing, right? So then the planes, uh, sorry, so then the plane sits, you know, stagnant indefinitely with a large portion of the aircraft's materials left to rot or sent to landfills. Well, that was what they used to do. If you type up, look at this, aircraft boneyard. This is a place in America where they have thousands of different aircraft. Probably, I don't know, probably over a thousand. I wouldn't say thousands, but over a thousand aircraft uh, just sitting there rotting in the desert every single day. And wow. Look at that one right there. Massive. Truly massive. So instead of doing that, they're, they're trying a new approach to recycle and you know, get the materials back. I, can't get, I guess that's kind of good. Sad that they're getting rid of it, but you know, financially speaking, getting money back and using the materials again for something else, obviously that seems to be the way to go. However, Emirates does not plan on letting its iconic A380 become a forgotten piece of metal. No boneyard for you, Mr. Emirates A380. Oh no. Oh no. Instead, the airline has partnered with UAE-based UAE Falcon Aircraft Recycling to save vulnerable parts of the plane from landfills. Now, they'll be repurposed for a second life as furniture and memorabilia that can be bought by customers and fans. And if you have enough money, you can even buy the stewardess. Rich. Rich people, huh? Rich people. Uh... <laughs> Right, okay, uh, so there's another picture of Emirates, as if we needed that, right? So, you know, uh, valuable features of the cabin will be salvaged and turned into unique furniture, aviation memorabilia, collectibles, and retail items designed and manufactured by UAE-based wing, Wings Craft. Now, the company specializes in transforming aircraft materials into customized merchandise. So, look, if you've got the money... Gosh, that's sad. If you've got the money, you could potentially buy yourself an aircraft airline television. Yay. Maybe? No? I don't know. Sad though, hey. Well, my goodness, they've built this 13, 14 years ago, and now it's going. Going. It's already gone. It's already gone. The most notable piece of this aircraft to be recycled is the fan favorite first generation onboard bar. The one that Casey Neistat did a review about. Something similar. Could have been another aircraft. It could have been something similar. But it's the same, air, same airline company, Emirates, that he went on. I'm pretty sure. And it's the same looking bar. Once again, there is Casey Neistat. Go check out that video if you haven't already. If you don't know who Casey Neistat is, leave this channel now. You don't belong here. I'm sorry I came across too strongly, but I mean it. I mean it. Uh, anyway, forget about that for a second. Calm down. I love you, Casey. <laughs> so the products. The products are planned to go on sale in the coming months, and a portion of the proceeds will benefit the Emirates Airline Foundation, which is the company's non-profit organization that focuses on helping children in need. That's always a good thing. It's always a good thing. Look at those hard workers putting material in an aircraft that no longer exists. In addition to being a charitable project, recycling airplane materials is also favorable because it significantly reduces the amount of landfill uh, waste and decreases the environmental impact of dismantling a jet. Have you seen that movie with Tom Cruise, War of the Worlds? The airplane crashes on the house that he's, in, that he's in the basement of, and then the next morning they come out to see a huge airplane crash, right? Uh, if you go on the... Universal Studios Hollywood tour, bus tram tour in Universal Studios, 
you actually see the very set that Tom Cruise did and filmed the whole scene, right? They've still got the scene there. Uh, it's a bit more, way, 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 way more cleaned up now, but there's still a bit more trash. There's still a bit, bit of trash there, and, and you can still see the airplane kind of scattered around, and yeah, you see it on the, on the tram tour for Universal Studios, right? Now, the material rec recovered, well, let me say that again. The material recovery process will be done completely in the UAE, further reducing the company's carbon footprint. It is also the first time an A380 will be uh, deconstructed outside of Europe. This has happened before. How many times? I don't know. Interesting. So approximately 190 tons of various metals, plastics, carbon fiber, composites and other materials will be removed from the aircraft and passed on for recycling or repurposing via our upcycle program with Wings Craft. All right. Uh, Andrew Tokens, Tonkins has said, this must be Andrew Tonkins here. I don't really know, but it, it could be him, right? Uh, so through this initiative, our customers and fans can take home a piece of aviation history while saving val valuable materials from landfill and contributing to a charitable cause through the Emirates Airline Foundation. Uh, there we go. So I haven't got a link for it, but if you want to buy this thing right here or this girl right here, maybe, go check it out, right? It goes to a great cause. But yeah, it's, I saw this as a, as a really interesting to uh, thing to talk about. And you know, I've never actually been on this airplane. I've seen it many times. Seen it flying? Went over my house once and I checked my airplane app on my phone and it told me it was the A380 and I was like, oh my God, there it is above my house, right? You can check those apps, you can download those apps, they're mostly for free, right? And I've seen them in the airport and I've, I've like, oh God, you know, that's really huge. But yeah, they're getting rid of them. Terrible. What do you guys think about the situation? Would you buy one if you had the money? And would you buy her? Uh, I've been told my name's Gareth. We're on two different YouTube channels, two and one. We just dropped a massive Squid Game video half a week ago now. Go check us out on channel one. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, at Tall Boy Gareth. I've been tall. My name's Casey Neistat. The glasses, right? And I'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen tomorrow. See ya.